this one! I got sent this one. I thought it was pretty interesting. Murderous villain test. Thank you so much. Hi, thank you. You're not that edgy. You're just giga base. And some people might perceive that as over overly edgy. Yeah, like, but honestly, in 2024, whatever you say is gonna sound edgy. Like, even if you say the most, like, mild shit, it's gonna sound like you're the edgiest. You're one of those murderous villains, okay? So, honestly, I don't trust the internet. I used to like the internet, and now I don't like it anymore. I like cats. So you hate dogs? Exactly! That's, that's what happens every single time. Like, you say something, and people make assumptions on what you said, like, all the time. But I think that's just part of this job, and I think one should, like, accept it. But I want to be free to say that I don't like it, okay? I'm a, I'm accepted. I do accept it. I've been accepting this for, like, years now. But that doesn't mean I like it! Okay, the world would be a better place if more people were just a little kinder, more people were just a little bit more logical. More people were just a little bit more logical things. Oh my god. Sometimes kindness is not the solution. Kindness, sometimes, is just what makes everything go on fire! Do you ignore when someone cuts in, cuts in front of your line? No, I speak up. What the fuck? What? If you shut up, you're like a beta. Beta! She wouldn't? No, Sheena! She's a beta. Girls like me don't cry. Sheena's a beta, but I still love her. Okay, if a sign says no smoking, part of me would be tempted to pull out my e-cigarette and start vaping. Only a childish mind would even consider vaping. What, are, what is this question? What is this? What does that mean? Okay, to be fair, I did vape for a while. Like, for a while, as in, like, for a month. So, saying this childish mind would ever consider vaping, that would be pretty hypocritical. I'm gonna start vaping. Okay, you cannot smoke, but you can vape, right? 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 So when I'm told, like, to do something, I often want to do the opposite. So, I think this is what this question means. Basically, like, you, we don't, we don't have to, like, focus on the question itself, but on what it means, right? So, it means that... If someone says, do not do this, you would be tempted to, to do it. Like, whenever you told me, to, you, you tell me to do something, I'm like, no, okay, I want to do the opposite. Just because you told me, oh, and if I was going to do, like, a task, and you come to me and you say, oh, hey, Panko, you got to do that task right now. I'm like, I was about to do it, but now I don't want to do it anymore because you told me to do it. Or like, oh my god, sometimes. Like, when I'm cleaning my room, like, I'm, like, in the middle of cleaning my room, like, my dad... Enters my room and is like, Panko, you should clean that too. Why do you never clean your room? I'm like, I'm literally doing it right now, bitch. Why? Why would you? Why would you tell me right now? Like, it's like he does it on purpose, man. And it's and it drives me insane. It drives me insane. Oh my god, it drives me literally insane. I don't know what his brain is telling him when he comes to me. Like he sees me, freaking. Tidying up my room and he calls me. Hey, why don't you never clean your room? Oh my goodness! Ah, so annoying. In resolving conflicts, which uh, which uh, in resolving conflicts, which approach do you more often find yourself taking? A principle approach based on justice and logic. A compassionate approach based on empathy, empathy and understand. <laughs> no, like. Whenever I think something is right and logic, I just follow like it doesn't it doesn't have to be right, but if I think it's right, I'm just gonna follow that path and rarely change the way I think. So yeah, yeah, that's a hundred percent. People are generally oversensitive and tend to make big fusses over things that don't really matter. Oh my goodness, yes. Which is more true of you? Sometimes Things aren't really true for me until I've read them in a book. Sometimes things are really true for me until I've experienced them myself. Man. Oh my god. Okay, honestly, people that think this are so stupid. I think people that think this are stupid. Can I say it? Like, freaking, freaking living your life based on books, like on what you read. Like, it can be good for some things, but for other things, no, man. Like, I think experiences are the best. Some people are simply more worthy than others. Okay, this is very... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. 
Dealing with people can be unpleasant, but people themselves can never be awful or, hor or horrible. That's, that's a big, fat disagree. I'm better at improvising plan planning ahead, planning ahead. Philosophy is kind of pointless and has largely been rendered obsolete by modern science. I don't know. I would disagree. It's not, it's not pointless. Those are two different things. Are, are, how do you, how do you compare? What? This is shit. What is this? What is even this question? I don't understand. Well, let's, let's go. <laughs> Why him? Why him now? What? It could have been like anyone. Anyone. Even Punkler would have been better. Even Punkler would have been better, man. Like in this, in this, in this time. In this time. Oh my God. Okay. Instead of realist. I, I read another thing here. Dream. Well, this is me. You is me. Okay. Introverted. Yes. Dreamer. Cool headed. Oh, we're the same. Oh my god. Besties. No, no, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much, Adward. Thank you. I will always see you as Punkler. Don't worry. Oh no! <laughs> my fellow brothers, in the face of our common dangers, in this winter of our hardship, remember these timeless words as we can.